Hey everyone, Anthony here from the Faculty of Apps. If you are a fan of this channel, you might remember a while back that I demonstrated using Encrypto, my favorite free app for encrypting files and folders on your Mac. However, if there's one area where Encrypto falls short, it's sending files to other people. You see, for the recipient to be able to decrypt and read your Encrypto files, they will also need to install the app, which isn't ideal. What you really want is for your recipient to be able to decrypt your files using, say, a password without the need to install anything at all. Even better if you can do that on any device, whether that be a Mac, PC, or even an iPhone or an iPad. And the free app that lets you do exactly that is called Kekka. Kekka basically encrypts your files and zips them up into a single compressed folder, making them easy to send and reducing the overall file size in the process. If you Google Kekka, it should be the first result that pops up. Now when you open the website, you'll be drawn to this Apple Store link. I would recommend ignoring this link because the app is not free on the App Store. You have to pay for it. However, if you want to go back to the website, there is a link just below that which lets you download a free version. Now I'm not entirely sure of the difference between the paid and free versions. I suspect there might not be any difference at all, but this free version is perfect for our needs. Having installed the app in the usual way, when you open it, you'll see this screen. There are a few options here, but essentially you just want to add a password. This will be the password that your recipient uses to decrypt and view the files that you're sending them. Having added a password, I recommend ticking this box, which will ensure that your files are encrypted using a stronger level of encryption. Having done this, it's then just a matter of dragging and dropping your files over the app. I'll be sending this text file, but you can literally send anything within a reasonable size limit. You'll immediately see this warning, which appears because we tick the box to use 256 AES encryption. The message basically tells us that some Macs and PCs might have trouble opening the files using this stronger level of encryption. Now this is not the case for Apple Silicon Macs running the latest version of Mac OS or for iPhones and iPads, all of which can decrypt the files just fine. However, it is true of Windows PCs. So if you think the person receiving the file might be using a Windows PC, or an older version of Mac, you might want to choose this option to use legacy encryption. Your files will still be encrypted using a password, but it will just use a weaker cipher. You'll be prompted to save your new encrypted zip file and give it a name. By default, it'll save to the same directory as the original files. At this point, you're all done with Kekka and you can close the app and send your files by whatever means suits you best. I'll be sending my files in three different ways to show you what happens on the other end. I'll start by using iMessage to send the files to Wilson. When Wilson receives the file, he just needs to save it to his computer and double click the file to open it. He's prompted for the password and then having entered the password, there's the decrypted files. Easy peasy. Now let's see what happens when we receive the file on an iPhone. And just for something different, this time I'll send the file using AirDrop. Wilson just needs to accept receipt of the file and save it to his files app. Tapping on the file, he's prompted for the password. And again, there's our decrypted file. Finally, I'll send my file to a Windows PC as an email attachment. It's worth remembering that whilst the attachment is encrypted, the actual email is not, so don't be tempted to include the password in the contents of the email. An encrypted chat messaging app like WhatsApp or Signal is a better option for sending your password. Having received the file, Gmail quite correctly warns Wilson that downloading a random zip file from an email is very risky. However, in this case, since I sent the file, we know that it's fine, so we'll continue. Now, as I mentioned earlier, because we tick the box to use strong encryption, unlike Mac, Windows cannot natively decrypt the file. It displays this very unhelpful error instead. So if you are sending your encrypted files to a Windows PC, you can either zip the file using Kekka with legacy encryption, or the PC user will need to install an app such as 7-Zip, which will be able to decrypt the file just fine. 
So that is another reason why you should never buy a Windows PC. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more quick tips on all your Apple devices. And you might also be interested in learning the proper way to delete apps on your Mac, or if you are considering switching from Spotify to Apple Music or vice versa, you should definitely watch this video. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.